Hey guys, welcome back to Telltale Games Batman. Um, I know this is delayed from when it came out, but I was out of town. I was in New York visiting my girlfriend and um, obviously didn't bring my PlayStation and my game capture with me. Uh, sadly, halfway through my trip, I fucking sprained my ankle like a dumbass. Um, so I didn't really get to do all the things I wanted, but you know, that's fine. Uh, I'll just have to go again. But I'm so excited to play this. Let's get to it. Let's do it. There he is, the Batman. Episodes, please. So we're about to start uh, episode two, Children of Arkham. It says... An old friend becomes a new adversary as Bruce learns more about the Wayne family legacy and Batman escalates the fight against crime and corruption throughout Gotham. So that friend, if I do recall, uh, what the fuck was, who was it? It was, it wasn't it Oswald? You know, the penguin, he called him Oz? Yeah, that was it, totally. It's been a minute. Um, alright, let's do it. Let's go. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. The quote right side is super subjective. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Are they gonna show us the whole goddamn episode? Come on, I wanna play. Although, honestly, I'm glad they have the previously on, but really, I wanna play. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. Oh, yeah, I remember now. How many? <sighs> I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. And it seemed like somebody the framed troubles. Falcone. Where are they? We'll Maybe Oz? Played in, couldn't you? Ah, somebody! <sighs> <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said the Waynes, but I the don't Waynes buy it. Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Although that photo is damning. God, I need to know. Tell me now. Revisiting their death place. That's really sad. Crime Alley, 5.38 a.m. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. 
tell I kind of wanted to be mad at Alfred, but Alfred just works for the there Waynes. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. And he wants to, you know, they keep their secrets, were. even from Bruce. Like, Bruce isn't ready. Especially because he's like Batman. For nearly two decades. See, he knows. He knows. I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. Yeah, the Alfred. Is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Yikes. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. Yeah, he... I want you you to could have told him, though, I Alfred. Give him a heads up. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. And then he died. But then... How convenient. No, I'm just and kidding. Of course, Alfred alone. had nothing to do with it. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, of course I can, Alfred. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. See, now our bond is stronger. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't oh, believe yikes. a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. Well, that, that, that's what happened. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Maybe it was a hit. Yet, there it was. I don't know what to say. There are too many good options. So silence, it doesn't quite as this game up. reminds you, is always a valid option. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that Well, story. he was a child also, like... I can recall every moment of that night in vivid Like, detail. a child may not have picked up on it if Maybe it was more wrong. than that. Sometimes, yeah. we block Memory's out things not always right. we don't want to face. Oh god, this Maybe is so spicy. Am I gonna, I like, get to recreate... I mean, I don't want to recreate the night of their death, but, like, if it's different than... than what everything is saying that we've known, you know, if it's a different story, I want to know it. Whoa, it's lagging a little. Come on. Side alley, let's look at it. I want him standing here. Right now. It's kind of like a nice outfit for a mugger. With his own parents' killer. The possibilities are frightening. I don't understand what's happening. Question. Why? Oh, okay. My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? Yeah, I always wondered that for sure. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Make sure there's nothing over here. Gotta be thorough. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't... Picture him as a criminal, not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Oh, that's nice, Alfred. Okay. Learning things, sort of. No, no sidewalks for Bruce. Now 
I remember in the uh, the Batman Begins. I love that movie. Batman. I saw it countless times at the um, theater. Bruce always felt in a way it was his fault because he got scared during the play and he wanted to leave and they left and his parents got shot. You know, the story. I never knew that. She was always so good. Maybe in the comics, though, it's just like they just, they're just leaving. I can't remember. It's been so fucking long. My dad has like a million Batman comics, like the really old ones, like the first ones. They're so cool and cheesy as hell. And I read them exactly like, I don't know, like 10 end. years ago, so it's a With little rusty. Pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that. He was nine! That's traumatic! Maybe. Do I really want to know? Probably not, Bruce. I'm gonna be straight with you. Where are we moving? Stay back! Take whatever you want! This is so sad! Why do I have to watch this right now? Oh fuck! It was a hit! Straight up assassination. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. No way. <laughs> or twelve or something. Like I mean, imagine witnessing anyone getting murdered that way, much less your parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is Bruce not more fucked up? You know what I mean? I mean, he's got a lot of issues. Let's not get it wrong. But, you know, Bruce, he's pretty normal, all things right. considered. You know, besides the, you know, hero thing, the superhero thing. Assassinated. Yup. Looks Caroline like. And Falcone knows why. I love how they made, like, the city into a bat symbol. That is just the coolest thing. I also love that there's no, like, theme song or nothing like that. Just Batman. Let's get into it. Like, I don't mind a theme song if it's short and all, but it, when they're long, I'm just like, come on. All right, let's do this, Harvey Dent. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I He does that, owe me, though. Okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. I forget what he did to easy. fuck up, but I remember he fucked up and Last he owes Bruce some shit. With Falcone, the press made us pay. Really should like not get about. so fucking high when I play these games. Look, I'm all for blind support. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. Won't you just let me handle it? Taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm Thank sorry. Thank the uh, Lord. Information? What information? Put him away. Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. It was nothing worth mentioning. Your friend gave us the whole case against Falcone. Oh, not worth mentioning, huh? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thank you. Thanks, Sergeant. 
We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. Batman doesn't kill. He cares about doing the right thing. I'm just gonna not say anything. That's the best option. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. All right, I'm sure my choices are going to be somewhat important here. Let's hope I don't screw it up. I got this. I hope. Episode 2! Big ass letters. He doesn't look that fucked up. Like, not at all, really. Bruce Wayne? Surprise, bitch. You that you'd seen the last of me. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we yeah, met. Yeah, well, things are different and now. I knew you'd come around. <laughs> oh, if only he knew what I need to talk to him about. You're your father's son. No. Well, yes. Yeah, you know, right. biologically. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah. So that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. And they were never forgotten. You and me. We're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Gross, I no to way. I you a dense party. But you, you showed me the door. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. No, nah, because I don't believe you. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <laughs> but I'm not your family. Damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Not until you tell me what I want to know. That's mean. But if that's an option, that's what I'm doing. Hurt him? I'm so... I am sorry this is terrible, but I'm curious as fuck. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for Oh you. shit, what have I done? This is so epic though. You'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in yet? I need you alive, but only until I have answers. Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. Jesus, switch, don't tell him you know? this. Still. But I guess like Batman is starting yeah, to make so even more sense if all this you. is true about his father. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? Why don't I believe you? Can't you can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that to heart. What just happened? They're waiting for you in hell! Bitch! You stupid bitch! Uh, oh my well, god! The bastard had to I'm die. never gonna know! Now Bruce is never gonna know! Hands in the air! Stand Wait, down. she's got some Gotta weird shit on her mouth. Floor. No one gets in or out! Go. I don't know if she was in her right mind. Maybe she was under some sort of influence. But seriously, what the fuck? 